Heading for a little bit more action now. Miranda and I were recently up at the Condo 750 in Central New South Wales for a fantastic event. Let's catch up with that. We're here at Condoblin in New South Wales with Greg Cooper. How are you today, Greg? Good, thank you, Simon. Good. Now, the Condo 750, what can you tell us about this event? This is a unique event that's been running for a number of years out here. It was a prelude to the Wind Safari years ago, and they called it the Centre Trek. It's the only event left in New South Wales where the competitors actually have to read a map to find out where they're going, whereas other off-road events, they're all marked tracks. Now, we noticed a number of vehicles uh, yesterday for scrutineering. What sort of things are the scrutineers looking for down there? Safety items are the most critical thing with the scrutineers, especially seatbelt areas, roll cages. Vehicles have to be built to CAM specifications originally, and everything on the vehicle must work because the vehicles have to transport on normal roads. There are quite a few different classes, different range of vehicles here as well. There is, I think there's six classes between the buggies and the cars, and then back to the bikes as well. And the bikes are in different ratings for their CCs. And I believe it's called the Condo 750, but they've extended it a little bit for this year. Yes, it's called the Condoblin Hotel Condo 750 this year. I've got behind it. I'm only new in town, been here a couple of years, but I'm an old off-roader from many years ago, worn out a little bit, but it's a thing for the town and people that organise it are all volunteers, all the farmers are all volunteers, and there's probably 150 people working behind the scenes to get this going just to keep the town alive. And I definitely need your support, so congratulations for getting behind the event. So what does it mean for the town here? In terms of revenue, we're probably going to put 600 people into the town this weekend. All the hotels and motels are full. The service station's having a roar and trade, and we're still in a group of a drought out here, so this is a bit of a lift for the town, and plus it helps put the town on the mark again. All right, now it's fairly dry, rough terrain out here. What can the drivers expect? They can expect a variety of conditions from first gear up hills that will really need a fair bit of negotiating it up to some good high speed running down through some good open country and then they'll work into some Gilgai country which is very rough and very dusty. But they'll get every condition they could probably think of that they're going to get in an event. They're going to get it. And you guys have been quite fortunate there's been some rain overnight. Yes, I haven't got anybody to tell me how many points but I'd say the dust will still be around. I don't think we've got enough to settle the dust. I believe it'll be about 820, 840 kilometres spread over two days. The event starts with the west section for the cars today and the east section for the motorbikes today and they reverse around. The total distance is, I think, is 828 k's. I think there's about 400 and something competitive. Now this event is held once a year here in Condoblin. Whereabouts are you located in New South Wales? We're centrally located right in the centre of New South Wales. Our closest major town are Parks and Forbes West Wyong and basically we are the centre of New South Wales. And what's your establishment called again? I'm from the Condoblin Hotel and proud to be associated with this event. Greg, thank you very much for your time and good luck with the weekend. We believe it's going to be quite a good event. Thank you, Simon. Thank you. Get your head inside here.